All right, everybody, I got to show you this. I got to show you this. Now, earlier, I was watching Donald Trump, and I was just looking through my screenshots of the stuff that I screenshotted earlier. And look what I see on this channel. Um, it came out with Trump prize, and he's in Poland. But look at the views. 322, 3,220 views. There it is again, 322. Then look at the top of the screen at 17% and 1117. You guys, what is getting ready to happen? Watch out, guys. You guys got to stay sharp in this game because this thing is nothing to play with. Please repent. Come back to the Father and seek his face. Seek the truth. An event is getting ready to pour itself out, and it possibly could be tomorrow on 7 7. An event on 7 7. Okay. Uh, let me see. All right. I need to show you something else. Last night. Oh my God. Let me pause this for a moment. There was mysterious lights in the sky in California. And you need to see what happens in this video because it was leaked out. And but you also need to see what else was going on. Now I don't know if this is like some kind of hoax. But it's weird that I take pictures of all these 77s and these 322s. And it's I just want you guys to see this. When you see the guy run away in the white shirt, then I want you to look and see what happens after that. A guy runs in a, in a jersey and it's, he has the number 77 on his jersey. Something happened, and I don't know what happened, but it was leaked out this morning. That's what happened in California last night. You guys need to be aware. These numbers don't add up for nothing. Now look, my phone is at 32%. 
but it's 12 10 and there is an 11. I just look at everything. There's a 3, 2, 2, and 11. And there's another. There's a, there it go. Right there. This is crazy. Something is about to happen. You guys, you need to repent. Come back to the Father. Like, this is no joke. Whatever's about to happen is about to happen. It's about to go down. Something is going on. They're seeing these lights is on the news all the way from Nevada to California. Something's up. This is no joke. Something's about to happen. It's probably possibly tomorrow, possibly on Tuesday on 7-Eleven. Then we got 717. I've been seeing that number. Then 722. But you know 723 is the 11th hour. 711. 11 is the 23rd hour of the day. So something possibly could happen there. Like, then you have 726. Actually falls on a Sabbath day, on a Wednesday. Like, you guys need to repent. And come back to the Father. It's for real. Everybody should see these signs. And some people are not seeing them. They're blind. And you need to get out there. You need to tell somebody. You need to spread the word. You should talk to at least five people a day. Something's going on. Something is going on. Like my chest. Something's about to happen. And I need y'all to be aware. Because the scriptures say nobody know the day and hour. But it said also unless you're like the watchman. And I'm a watchman. And I've been watching. And I'm paying attention. All the ten plagues are pretty much here except for the three days of darkness and the um the great famine that hasn't hit us yet but you could technically say it's hit us because they having it in so-called africa but there's going to actually be famine where actually food turns to worms and like for real it's going to hit it's going to be bad out here but in that day, know that you can't be touched. In that day, if you belong to the Most High, you will not be touched. You will be able to make it through. But he said he, they, they will not make it on bread and water alone, but by the bread of my word. See, you got to have that word. That word is the bread. That's what's going to keep you. That bread. In that day. Who could stand? Before the Father on that day. Can you stand before the Father? It is getting ready to happen. Please, 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 please repent. Please repent. Please. I want you to make it. I want you to go home. I want you to be around your family once more. Father's open up his heart to allow you in through forgiveness he's the one who pardons our sin you worship him and him alone he is your everything your first love open up your heart and let him dwell inside he is the only savior that you can call 
Solomon. He is your king. And he will be a master. I want you to open up your ears and open up your spiritual eye. He is the only one who can show you the truth. He sent me his maidservant, his daughter of Zion. I'm coming to you now in this late hour. I need you to repent because the time has come for you. There is no more days to repent. The time is now. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You need to repent now. The time is right now. Get on your knees and go to that quiet place because only there you can see him. Meditate to him when you lay eyes on his beauty and you see the blue flames and you lose a part of yourself because you went into him and he went into you i remember the two candlesticks and the Ten commandments that I saw one night when I was dreaming. These images just came to me. I seen the eyes of God, the one they claim is Egyptian. But the scripture says that I am your God from the land of Egypt. He led us out into the promised land. But somebody came here and enslaved us. This is our land. This is our land that was given to our forefathers. And you can't take that away they're gonna lie to you they're gonna lie to you but children of israel i need you to hear me now open up your heart because he wants to dwell inside when you open up your third eye the oil of your vessel it pours down to you now you can have everything now you can go to the store and buy your oil or you can have it run through you i have a lamb and i trim my wick and i also have the lamp of the light of God dwelling inside me. I beg you to repent now. Open up your heart to the Father and praise the Most High and get down on many knees because he's coming for his children only israel will be saved that's what the scripture does say i'm sorry to tell you hebrew israelites you lie on the corner you lie And you teach the bold face 
lost one you such a soul and i really know you tell other people that there is real life you liar you think you're right but you are wrong for those who you believe in the messiah he did come here to deal away with to get rid of sacrificing the animals we're not supposed to eat i'm gonna tell the truth today Please open up your heart because he wants to dwell inside you. Our Father, open up your heart and let him dwell inside. I know I sound like a broken record but I sing to release I worry no more because it's all left to the Father if he's redeemed you I will see you there I see y'all in the island I see you when we get to our land. When we get to our land, the real land. When we get home, when we get home, a place I'll never be kicked out of again. A place I never have to pay day to date again. I'll never be homeless a day again. My father promised me that I have a home to be, and I will go home too. I will. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I want everybody to make it, but I know it's not the truth. But I ask you, do you have oil in your vessel? Do you have the, the waters of life through your veins? Are you true? Do you love the Father? Are you really to give your life? Even if that meant you have to die. Would you jump in front of the car for someone? Would you open your door to somebody? Would you feed someone? Will you help a neighbor with their backs to the door? Will you help the old lady cross the street? Please change your hearts today. Those with a pure heart get to see the face of their father. He has hair that goes to here. And he has a short beard. And you know it's him. Because he'll have flames of fire, blue eyes.
Please. Please, 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 please. Repent. Go back to the Father. Come back right now. Come back. Don't fall away. Come on, just hold on just a little longer. Because he's coming right back. He never left your side. Just because you don't see him in a physical form. But if you will, if you repent now. Please, children of Israel, you don't want to have to go through the tribulation. You want to go out fighting. Don't think that you can't do it. You can do it. They say Israel cover the whole world. I believe that wholeheartedly that we're everywhere. But not how people think. It's something that's about to happen. And I know you guys can feel it. We had a 5.8 earthquake in Montana that without power. Prayers go up for those people. You need to understand that the 144,000 do not, do not go through the rest of the tribulation. They are the first room. People have twisted the scriptures. It says the last will be first. And it's time. It's time for us to go home. We go to the land first. For those who are left that are not the children of Israel and they make it to the end and they don't take the book. They walk into and inherit the kingdom in our land. They get to be a part. Only a remnant will be left. 37% of the population is getting ready to die. If I could speak every language, I would tell you to repent. I would tell you to repent. I would tell you that we're in the last hour and you need not to fall now. Don't fall. Don't fall. The miracle is just at the door. He's twisting the doorknob now. I'm, can you hear him? Can you hear him? He's in the hallway. He's at the bedroom door. He's coming. Don't let him be a thief to you. Be watching. The red planet is touching us. It's getting ready to happen with the eclipse. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You need to be ready. You need to be ready. You need to be ready. I don't know what's going to happen, but the zombies come. When you see the zombies come and know the escape is there. The escape is there. Because we are not suffering. We are not suffering to this. It says that the bride of the church, that she goes out of the way of the face of the serpent for 1260 days. It's getting ready to happen. We're getting ready to leave a body here. The time is now. Repent. Repent, Israel. The Gentiles have not been dealt with. I was wrong. They have not been dealt with. They have to go through judgment. I was wrong. And I have repented. They have to go through judgment. Israel, you need to repent. The Edomites look like us. But they are not us. Some Gentiles have changed their skin color to look like us. 
to mimic us. Some are actually planning to attack Israel as soon as the moment that this thing goes, starts to pop off. You guys hanging with those people that you say are the children of Israel are going to be the ones who are going to kill you. You devil worshipers that stand on the corners preaching hate. I could tell you this. The father does not love everybody. The scriptures say Esau have I hated and Jacob have I loved. Jacob was just not a person. He was a nation of people. His name became Yisrael. His name went from Yaakov to Yisrael. It's 1232 and I'm still seeing the 322. You guys, this is no joke. Every, this is my daughter. <laughs> um, you guys, repent. Repent. Please, please repent. Because the Father is getting ready to come home. To bring us home, excuse me. We're getting ready to leave a body here. This summer, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. It's a lie about the Jews never accepted their Messiah. That's a lot. Yeah, the fake ones over there in that fake so-called Middle East, they're liars. All liars. Repent now. Repent for the time is at hand. You don't have long. I remember when I was in the eighth grade in the school, I was in choir. And um, I was in Lansing, Michigan, and I said this, I sang this song. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Yahshua washed, when he washed, he washed my sin away. The only person who could forgive your sins is the Father. I didn't know that at that time. But he came to to deal away with the sacrifice of us killing animals because we're not supposed to eat animals and we're not supposed to be killing animals. That is a lie that the devil put in scripture. And if you make it to the land, you will be a vegetarian. And I don't know if the people who eat meat are going to make it to the, I don't, I don't know. I can't say that, but I could tell you that in the land that we're vegetarians and we don't eat meat. So, I mean, I've been a vegetarian now for months, since about February. Well, actually before then, I was still eating like fish, like up in December, and then I went full-blown vegetarian. It's hard, but I don't eat no meat. I feel better. I'm doing better. My life is for my father. I can't wait to fight these demon zombies and go home. And go home. I got a home. And you got a home too. Repent now so you can go home. Want to go home with me? We're going to be eating cornbread with vegetables in it. That's what, according to what my son said. So, both of my sons say cornbread. The holy mom makes this cornbread. So, y'all should be looking forward to this cornbread. That's how you knew that 
Y'all sure was a black man anyway. Y'all should have known that. If cornbread was the bread of life. Shoot. You got to know he was a black man. Because we love us some cornbread. That's for sure. Giving honor and praise to the Most High. And thanking him for his son that came here. To bring us back to the Father. Lord, right now I ask for mercy for people and I know that it's up to you and I know that you will know who's yours and period that's it you know who's yours and nobody else can say anything else about it nobody not one child of yours and all these children out here all these people belong to you but like you said Only a certain amount of people gonna be so, gonna make it to the Holy Land. The other people go to the so-called New Earth. They're gonna be eaten. They're gonna be um going right through the sky when they roll up. The wicked gonna go right through the sky when they, you see this this sun with all these seven moons that's gonna be around it. And the sky gonna open up and all the wicked gonna be burned up. Turn into ashes. Don't turn around. When it's time to go, don't look back. Don't go back to get your clothes. Don't go back for nothing. Just go. Leave everything. It's over. It's time to go out. Don't go out like no punk. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go out like no punk now. Fight for yours. Fight for your salvation. Don't think it's just handed to you without works. Check out the first three books of Revelation. It talks about the people with no works. You better know what kind of works that you was supposed to be doing. It ain't just by grace and mercy. You got to have works. Meditation is one of those works. But who am I? I'm just somebody who has been here before, getting ready to go home this time. I won't be incarnated no more. This is the end. I will live my life with my Messiah forever. I love you all. Shalom.